Hello everybody, my name is Sarah Gibbons and I'm working within the Centre for Teaching and Learning in the University of Limerick. Um, as my colleague Bernadette Walsh already alluded to, um, we set up a student engagement uh, and success unit within the university summer 2015 and there were three positions appointed. Uh, I've had the privilege of being in two of them. Um, so um, the first year support role that Bernadette um, referred to, I was in for the, the, for the inception, I suppose, of, the, of the, the unit and it was very much a student facing role. It was a role that was made available to first year students from orientation as a go-to place, um, as a signposting spot, I suppose, um, that had no allegiance to um, their course or otherwise. Um, and I was probably in contact with over about, over about 300 students who came to me, made contact with me in various different ways over their first year. And with that came a range of issues, a range of concerns, as you all would be aware of. And I've moved into then um, the education uh, and educational development role, which is within the, within the Centre for Teaching and Learning. But all of this is under the guise of student engagement and success. Um, within the university, um, as well as putting these positions in place and us working the three roles, one within student affairs, one within the Centre for Teaching and Learning and one within the library, we have internal, obviously, facing responsibilities within the areas that we belong to, but we similarly work um, within this virtual space where the three of us work on specific um, progressing specific um, areas within student engagement and for student engagement and success and to improve that. At faculty levels, uh, faculties have been um, tasked with positioning um, student engagement and success as an item for discussion within the faculties but similarly at, at an institutional level a committee has been formed specifically to discuss and to progress the work in this area as well so it's very much with that bottom up top, bottom up, top down um, intention. Um, within the Centre for Teaching and Learning there are five learning centres that come within the umbrella um, and within the ICT uh, Learning Centre at the moment there's a data tool that's being progressed within that space and it's specifically to capture um, the issues, the concerns, the, the, the problems that students are coming to that learning centre with. Capturing that in an online space with a view then to improving the type of work that the tutors in that space um, um, are undertaking. Um, and then lastly, just to make reference to um, an institutional data warehousing project that's underway within the university at the moment, that has been scoped um, with a view to talking um, about or to responding to a lot of those higher level reporting um, requirements that we all have. The hope is that if we get to the space where we have ticked that box, that this warehousing space will, go, will, will also be able to bring us to um, a point where we'll be more, we can move towards student engagement um, and, and providing information there. So opportunities and challenges, um, I suppose from an opportunities perspective we've been lucky enough that there's been the resourcing of these particular um, positions um, which are you know, in response to uh, strategic issues and concerns around retention. Uh, the fact that we do have this internal data management project um, ongoing. Um, and also I think I see, I see it as an opportunity and, and have been made aware of some of the work and the advancements in other institutions in Ireland. And that's a huge learning opportunity for all of us. Um, challenges data collection for us um, and for many as people have been saying is quite fragmented there's different different metrics that are being defined and recorded depending on on work remits and uh, the view on what data is useful for and what its purpose should be as well so next steps uh, to ensure your student data is used to improve and complement the student experience i think it's important as well that this is just one of the pieces that improves student engagement and success and that it's not viewed at any point as just the the one size fits all uh, guidance in an institution approach um, in the use of responsible learning analytics would be uh, would be really incredibly useful uh, and how to inform and engage students and staff about learning analytics um, and also the embedding of the ethical uh, use of student data. Thanks. Thank you.